we are the Mary, the director, and Washington DC Center, Dr. Arthur Nike, gave an uh, opening, opening uh, remark. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, members of the William & Mary community, good afternoon and welcome to this significant occasion as we gather at the William & Mary Washington Center to commemorate the 80th anniversary of the repeal of the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 and continue the incredible work of this morning's conference. My name is Roxanne and I am honored to serve as the director of this center. At the heart of our center's mission lies a commitment to integrating excellent academics and experiential learning. We provide high impact opportunities for all of our students, alumni, and the members of our community. We serve as a bridge between academia and career experiences. We foster connections and aim to create a sense of belonging for the entire William and Mary community. Today's roundtable is a testament to our dedication to meaningful connections and inclusivity. And we are grateful for the opportunity to support your important work today. We come together not only to reflect on historical milestones, but also engage in conversations that are pertinent to our present and our future. The 80th anniversary of the repeal of the Chinese Exclusion Act reminds us of the complexities and challenges our nation has faced, prompting us to consider how far we have come and also how far we have yet to go. In addition to my role as the director of the William and Mary Washington Center, I proudly serve as a member of our university's democracy initiative. William and Mary has played a pivotal role in shaping democracy since founding of the United States, and this initiative embodies our university's commitment to practicing and promoting democratic ideals in the pursuit of a more perfect union. There are two prongs to our diversity initiative. The first is civics education and the skill building necessary to engage in constructive dialogue. The second is focused on ensuring our nation's origin stories are expansive and honest. I heard this morning on the Hill all the reasons that this conference was organized. And as we continue to reflect upon this 80th anniversary that brings us together again this afternoon, we share a common goal in our determination to ensure that our nation's origin stories are indeed expansive, honest, and unite us in pursuit of knowledge as a public good. Through studying, teaching, and illuminating the rights and obligations of 21st century citizenship, the alma mater of the nation stands uniquely positioned to ensure that democratic ideals thrive for generations to come. And today we do that by supporting this event. So thank you for including William and Mary in this conversation. Let us embark upon this roundtable discussion with open hearts and minds, embracing the spirit of connection and belonging that defines the William and Mary community. Together we can learn from our shared history, engage in meaningful dialogue, and contribute to the ongoing journey towards a more inclusive and democratic society. In that spirit, let me introduce you to my colleague, Isaac Kyriakos, our center's strategic events coordinator who led our efforts to put this together this afternoon. A brief hand, perhaps, for Isaac. Center acknowledges the indigenous peoples who are the original inhabitants of the lands on which we are located today. The lands of the Anacostans, the, the lands of the Nakatoctans people, the neighboring Piscataway peoples, and nearby Potomac and Rappahannock people, and Monacan Indian tribes. We gratefully acknowledge these many native peoples on whose ancestral homeland we gather as well as the diverse and vibrant native communities who make their homes here today. 
and pay our respects to their tribal members, past and present. The statement on slavery and its legacies. The center also acknowledges that William and Mary, enslaved people, exploited them and their labor, and perpetuated the legacies of racial discrimination. The university profoundly regrets these activities, apologizes for them, and expresses its deep appreciation for the contributions made by Africans and African American members of its community to the vitality of William and Mary, then, now, and for all time coming, and commits to continuing our efforts to remedy the lingering effects of past injustices.